What up peeps? Welcome to today's vlog and good morning. I have not left for the store yet because I wanted to film a clip out here in my game room and let you guys know that I have been putting a lot of work into my other channel, which is the Sick Cooper channel. There's a link in the description down below so you can check it out. But if you are at all interested in seeing more youtube -y videos from us about retro video games where, you know, I talk about and show off my collection, I do like mini reviews of games and talk about some history and rarity and stuff like that, that's the kind of stuff that I've been doing on the other channel. I uploaded a video about my Nintendo Switch collection, which has kind of blown up, at least for us. It's got like 85,000 views, which is incredible. And then I also, with the help of Jesse, because he's an awesome editor, uh, we just put up a video about my original Game Boy collection, where I tried out a bunch of games, talked a little bit about the history of it, talked about my rarest games, and a couple other things in there. But I think you guys will really, really enjoy it. Uh, a little bit more effort is going into these videos compared to just our game store vlogs. So if you'd like to see that, like I said, link down below. And for those of you that have been watching, thank you guys so much. Bulbasaur. 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 Howdy, how's it? Yeah, it's not a duck shirt. First time for everything. <laughs> you did see our our new little Pokemon thing out there? Yeah, I couldn't find a Bulbasaur. Oh, there's Bulbasaurs in there. They're in there? No, it's not okay. To be fair, I grazed the top, and I didn't feel like pulling everything out, but if I see a Bulbasaur, I'm getting it. It's pretty cool. Let's go take a look. Yeah. Build your team. These are the little Pokemon Mega Constructs things. They all come with a little Pokeball, and then you get to build the figure. Um, there's definitely Bulbasaur. So I entered these earlier. For each character that we have in here, there were four. There, there was four of each. There's Trimander. He's in a Bulbasaur's in a regular Pokeball like this one. But yeah, there they are. Ten bucks each. We got the whole little thing here. There's so many different characters too. I was surprised. There's so there's 48 total, but only four of each character. Oh wow. Okay. So however many that is, I can't do math. But this is pretty cool. I like it. Well, 12 characters. 12 characters. That's like half the Pokemon that are that exist. Well, it's at least half. Every other starter. Square it all. Let me accept Bulbasaur. Maybe I didn't see Bulbasaur. Don't tell me that. <laughs> you don't say that. Yes! There he is. Nice. <laughs> Let's see you close up. Bam. Bobby only likes the duck Pokemon, like Quaxly. Yeah, I might just like Bulbasaur, I don't know, just kind of, kind of a cool guy, kind of cool. <laughs> Never seen him. N64. Yeah. Nice little bottle with a red controller. Mm -hmm. Guess what? What? I've been watching Fallout and it's so good. We have been watching Fallout, <laughs> not just you, and it is really good. It's very enjoyable. We're Halfway gonna be, through. yeah, we're gonna be starting episode six tonight. You're not allowed to watch any of it without me there. I hope you know that. And if you do, I, I know where you live. Why would I? Because I, I can watch Suits without you, and yeah. then when you get home, we switch to Fallout. Hey, can you need me to change? Anything? Because tomorrow is my weekend, and I'm gonna watch Suits and film YouTube videos about suits. That was just disc only now. Uh, I showed you guys in the last video that I found that uh, VCR at Goodwill that I think is new. I also found this on the same day and I found this Attack on Titan guy and I found this big King Kong figure and I found that Mario and then over here I also found that Mario. That was just from two Goodwill stops, one after the other, after work the other night. I don't film it every time I go, but I go to Goodwill multiple times a week. So the title of yesterday's video was, Are We Buying Too Many Games? And what was the result? Well, it's only been up for a few minutes, so <laughs> one person said no. But look at this big collection that is coming in again. 
so oddly enough we are running really low on Wii stuff <laughs> which I never thought was like possible <clears throat> can you check out the customer please I guess he'll be right over in just a moment but he doesn't fit inside we can sit him on top of the pokeball he's so beautiful yeah <laughs> Look at his belly. Set him on the Pokeball. I want to see it. <laughs> Where are you going to keep him? Probably on top of my computer. Does he fit? It said he did on the thing. Yeah, he does. I'm going to make him fit. Oh my god. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I could probably get him to fit inside now that I know it's not like all four feet fit. Do a dull voice. <laughs> I don't fucking do this for yeah. Boba Saw. <laughs> I'm sure you guys remember this little thing that we did a little while ago. I accidentally ripped the paper. But we had three things written down that we were going to reveal about the new store. Had you guys vote in the comments and you all picked number three, which was the the least cool <laughs> of the three. Um, I do believe that number one has kind of revealed itself over time which was that we are going to have arcades for sale. You guys have seen that I have purchased the Ghost Squad game and the Star Wars one, and we talked about those, so that one kind of naturally revealed itself. But yes, we are planning on having some arcades both on free play at the store and also available for sale. Obviously, we're not planning on shipping these or doing anything like that. If you happen to not live locally, but you really want to get one, you can arrange shipping and have a courier pick it up or something. But um, we are going to have four to five machines at the store that should all be on free play, in addition to our little kiosk wall that we are building. So that's number one. And then number two, I wanted to reveal as well, because it's cool and it's fun and that is retro display so what does that mean what what is a retro display what does that even mean you remember that nintendo glass case we have in our storage unit right yeah the short long one yeah mm -hmm. it's like it's like one of these style ones but it's a nintendo one yeah did you just explain what we're doing with it i'm about to oh unless you want to tell them uh no you do it so the plan is to have that countertop nintendo glass case in the store and we have a very specific spot that it's going to go um it's kind of hard to explain without being there to show you guys and i'm not driving all the way over there just to just to film for 10 seconds but um there we have the electrical room and there's a doorway to the electrical room and the countertop or the, the Nintendo glass case is going to go kind of right by that door there. So it kind of like blocks people from going back there. Um, anyway, the plan is to get some shag carpet to put in the bottom of that cabinet and then get an old school CRT. I would love to get like a wood grain one, but I don't think that they make them small enough <laughs> to fit inside the glass case. We'll see. And then we're going to get like an NES we're gonna have a game, it's all gonna be hooked up, so it's all gonna be lit up and playing. And we'll put like DuckTales or Mario, something that has like a demo slash like song that'll play. And then I'm gonna go on eBay. I'm gonna get some vintage soda cans, like late 80s, early 90s Pepsi cans, maybe some like old action figures and a candy bar wrapper. And we're gonna kind of lay it out in there and it's going to be this really cool like retro display. This is something that we will probably change over time but that's kind of the plan for it and i was actually texted by the person we got the cabinet from and she didn't even get me i know <laughs> and i was texted today and he was like hey you got that uh, the owner of, a, of, a, of another card store here in vancouver and he's like hey you got that nintendo glass case from me like a year ago and i just found the glass shelves if you want to come and get them so I'm not sure if we're gonna need them, but it would be nice to have them. So there it is. That's one one other thing that we are doing with the new store that is going to be something we weren't doing before and something that I haven't seen in any other local store. There are stores around the country that have display things set up, but we don't really have any locally. So I think that's going to be really, really awesome.
a couple of days, I think that's good. He's making the offer right now on the phone. Another collection, guys. Oh my god! New order for Brian. Brian? Void Terrarium 2. Oh. Lawn mowing simulator. Our Brian or no? It's one of our Brian's. Oh yeah, true. We have so many Brian's. We we do, and we also have a lot of like Josh's, and we reference them all in nicknames. Hey, check this out. Brian! <laughs> So you guys know we're still waiting on permits and stuff for the new store. That's why it's taking so long. They actually came back today with some changes that need to be made to the layout, essentially. Um, and they don't control anything that we put in, like our countertops can go wherever we want them, stuff like that. But the actual walls and doorways, there are requirements, regulations, stuff like that. I'm sure you guys understand. So there are some changes that have to be made. I, it's really, really sucky. <laughs> um, and we're not gonna get into exactly what they are, um, but when and if things change around, we will show you guys. And you, of course, will still be along for the entire process of getting the store set up and doing all that. So you'll see, um, but it kind of sucks because some of the things that they want, they are kind of throwing a wrench into a few different layout plans that we had. So. It really sucks. It mostly has to do with like the back room area. So it's not like the sales floor is gonna change too much, but still it's not ideal. But I wanna keep you guys in the loop at least a little bit about what's going on. So we forgot to put the trade-in clip that we filmed in the previous vlog. So in addition to all the other trades we have to show you guys today, here is this one from yesterday. It is time for our trades and there's a bunch of them. So I might go a little bit quick. Starting off, we have some Nintendo Powers that got, got traded in today and some strategy guides. This is from another day, except for this one. This came in today. It's pretty cool. Don't know anything about it, but it's cool. And Switch titles. It's always nice to see regular Switch uh, games like getting traded in on a, like a regular basis. That um, that just means our stock is, is, you know, refreshing itself pretty quickly. And it just makes me super happy to see all that stuff. This is pre-owned. It still just has a uh, factory seal on it. It was just ripped up at the top. It'll do two. Got some 3DS games as well as Super Nintendo and NES. And then we have this controller. I don't know a whole lot about it, but it's pretty cool. <clears throat> and then Super Mario 3, Popeye, uncommon but cheap NES game. And we have some 360 titles as well, Left 4 Dead, Deadliest Warriors, Minecraft, Grid. And we also have these handheld games up here, DuckTales. We have the Metal Gear Solid 3D. And then here are all the other 360 games. Like I said, there's a lot of trade-ins that happened. We're seeing a lot of 360 titles coming in lately. I, I noticed that we have this, I don't know what to call it, it's not like a habit, but like basically we will get a lot of items in and we'll post it. So we'll post like, oh, we're getting a bunch of 360 games in. So all of our posts are 360 titles and then people will come in with a bunch of 360 games. And that's kind of regular. I know like we are getting a bunch of copies of like Godzilla for the PS4 and it was because people were seeing us post oh hey we got Godzilla in and then people were like oh you buy that and then they'd bring it in so it's just very common for that to happen and I think that's what's happening lately we also have some PS4 games and Xbox One down here an original Xbox and then this game is factory sealed inside by the way it's just the outside is not sealed and then we have some more 360 titles that are a little bit higher end. Transformers, Shadow of the Damned, Metal Gear Solid, Guitar Hero 5. I didn't know that was expensive. I already showed those. We have some box GBA games. A Rescuer's Guide. <clears throat> and then Wii U titles. Wonder if we'll see an influx of Wii U games selling and also being traded in. I think there's a really big misconception that people are like, oh, the Wii U is dead, dead. Trade everything in, because we've seen that happen before. And then a really nice minty box Genesis uh, console bundle 
uh, model one and then we have this i have no idea what it is but it's really cool and i got traded in today thank you so much for joining us in the trades And Jess, we're all hanging out one day here at the store. Yep, not doing any work or anything. Yeah, I think we also were trying to do a mutiny to make it so Bobby and everybody else like made like got us ramen because yeah. we were just like, we want ramen, we want ramen. Yeah, we haven't even moved over there yet, and we're all already hooked on. What do we have ramen. for lunch today? Candy's ramen. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I got extra eggs in ours. Yes. It's so good. It's really good. Um, but we were, yeah, we were all hanging out, uh, planning a mutiny, and um, a gentleman came in with his mom and um, wanted a Nintendo 64. Mm -hmm. And I told him it was like, you know, it, we sell our 64s for $100. Um, so he presented his wallet to me and showed me that there was a, a lip of a $100 bill in there. And I was like, yeah, that that's a hundred dollars um and then he kind of pulls it out for me like like and then he holds it out to me and the dollar bill oh a hundred dollar bill it, yeah yeah well yeah it was a hundred dollar bills um but like you know i i've never seen a fake one before but when he pulled this one out it was like oh colors off uh the band is off um and there was like a copy like mark um it says it was, copy, it says copy. Yeah. yeah and um as you all know i haven't worked in retail for very long this is my second year or something yeah something like um, that and so i i don't know what to do i'm just like yeah i can't i can't take i keep both yeah <laughs> i really i remember you were just like what do you want me to do with this <laughs> what do you want me to do with this and, and he was like i don't want the n64 and you're like oh and then I and I and Jess were behind you, yeah. like sitting pretty close, because again we were planning a mutiny. Um, and we're like, we I and her kind of just looked at each other and we're like, that's fake. Yeah. Like, but not like super loud. More like that's fake. That's, 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 that's not real. real. And the oh, whole yeah. time, what is his mom doing? Just kind of standing here watching. <laughs> she said nothing. Nothing. She Absolutely said nothing. nothing. Um, and then? And uh, so he, he starts like rolling it up into a little ball and like trying to give it to me. And ultimately it came down to, will you throw this away? Uh, so I was like, yeah, sure. And so I threw it away from him. And we were like, do you still want the system? Like, uh, he was like, no. And he and his mom left and they were like, we'll be back. Somebody, somebody willingly suggested to ban themselves today. But yeah. that, that is a story for another time. Yes. But, uh, yeah, that, that happened the other day. That was really interesting. And like, no, no shade on them or anything. It no. was just like a funny, like they left and we were just like, we like looked at each other like, and we're like, did, did that just, did that just happen? Yeah. Like. And I think I was like, respectfully, what the heck just happened? Yeah. Respectfully, what? Is yeah. What you said. Um. And we were just like, <laughs> okay. And then we moved on. And then the guys came back and we're like, oh my God, we need to tell you guys about the $100 bill. And, yeah, like, and then we, 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 we clickbaited them so hard with it too. We were just like, somebody tried to spend a hundred fake $100 bill here. And they're like, what? Yeah. And then we we're just like, actually it was really this situation yeah. so we like definitely baited like ryan and cooper into reacting pretty You're harsh to fool us with a hundred dollar bill like. but in reaction in reality i just i think it was uh, a learning experience or something going on that we didn't know about but it was kind of interesting because it was very much a fake hundred dollar bill yeah um and hold on i'll tell you guys a story about when i thought i had a fake bill so i worked when i was 18 years old story time. When I was 18 years old, I worked at a, um, copy and print store and somebody gave me like an older $10 bill. 
Um, like, you know the ones that are like, I don't know, they just, they're old, okay? The small face huh? The small face? Yeah. 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 And I look at it, and I'm 18, and in front of my manager, who did not like me very much, I go, mm, this is fake. <laughs> and he was like, what? <laughs> And this customer is like, excuse me? And he's just like, let me take over. And he like kind of pushes me to the side and he's like, you thought that was fake? And I was like, yeah. And he, I was like, they don't look like that. How old were you? 18. I also was like an absolute menace working there, but. I've heard stories. But you know what? I'm still friends with mostly everybody that worked there. So they loved me. I was just a straight up menace. And I was also 18 and had no idea what I was doing. Okay, that's it for story time. It helps that you're cute. Heck yeah, it does. Ma'am. Welcome to another trades clip. Got a little bit of everything, not just video games. We got a bunch of stuff in here. Let's start over here. I think, I think these were part of the vinyls that Cooper filmed in a previous video, but if not, here they are. Got some PS5. We got two copies of Immortals there. MW2. The Pathless. Haven't heard of that one. I'll have to check that out. I'm kind of curious. Aladdin and Lion King. Got some cool Switch stuff in today too, if I remember correctly. The Darkness. Streets of Rage 4. A Black Sabbath CD, I think. These are the only two CDs. I'm not seeing any other ones. So I think those are the it. <laughs> those are it, I should say. Got some more cool Switch stuff in today. Hey, Pikachu, or Let's Go Pikachu, I should say. Bayonetta, I believe this is the PAL version, just as a heads up. Yeah, yeah, it's the PAL version. Sonic Frontiers, Mario Maker 2, Minecraft. Elden Ring. I'm super excited for that DLC to come out. Too bad it's still a little ways away. Collector's Edition of Soul Reaver. That's pretty cool. Twisted Metal 2. I'm still looking for a copy of Medieval on the PlayStation, the original PlayStation, for collecting purposes. I think PS4 has the PS1 game you can play, but I want the physical copy. Some GameCube stuff there. I'll show the cheaper stuff in a second, but got an amiibo right there. Got Boo, some Pokemon cards. Let's see if I can get it so the glare doesn't hit these DS games. Animal Crossing, Do Mario Tennis. Got some Game Boy games, a couple Pokemon, some Zelda in there. We got Ninja Shadow, Ninja Gaiden, I mean, Metal Walker, Metroid, nice, nice. Do, do, do. Should I get all of that in there? Some more Pokemon, Mario and Luigi. Got the sticker ball, of course. Got a couple guides, Bloodborne, which, wow, that's crazy. Anything Bloodborne is really expensive, Bolton was telling me today. The Oblivion game guide there. And we got some cool, some cool stuff up here. Got some Banjo and Kazooie. Plush set, got some cheaper titles down here. I swear they've made LA Noir on almost every console now. I wouldn't be surprised if they release a PS5 physical version as well. Ooh, the Born Legacy. <laughs> nice, one of the Resident Evil movies. That uh, I don't think they're good by no means, but I do enjoy watching them. The Star Wars trilogy, Planet of the Apes. I'm looking forward to the new one that's coming out, I believe within the next couple of months or so. That'll be good. But I think that about wraps it up. It just goes back into the vinyls that I started with. Hope you all have a good week, and I'll see you next time. Question of the day. What's for dinner? I don't know. I want to stop at the grocery store, and I want to get crab. Because we were talking about it. You have fun with that. You're going to get home before me. Will you start rice? Mm -hmm. rice yeah. It takes like five seconds. What's for dinner? No, it does not. It does take longer, but... It takes like half an hour. What? It takes five seconds. We have like a rice cooker. Yeah, our rice cooker does not take that long. Well, what's for dinner? Um, it's probably going to be like... Uh, 
Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> What's for dinner? So besides the, other, the rest of my burrito. Yeah. <laughs> the other day we made pasta and we kind of like tested out making our own ravioli from scratch and we liked it. So now we're making ravioli. Ooh. for dinner. Nice. There's a raccoon. There's a raccoon on her car. <laughs> Do you have an answer yet? No. I, I don't know. <laughs> All right. We'll see you next time. Bye. I'm so... I'm so... I like that. I'm like.